공부 시간입니다. 안녕하세요, 여러분. Hello, everyone. This is Tim, your Korean host, and I'm joined in the studio by Do 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 Do. Debbie, hello everyone. Welcome to our All About series where we teach you all about Korea and the Korean language. This is All About Lesson 1, Introduction Lesson, Korean. I will be your native English speaking host and I'm here to help you guys along the way. Hey Debbie, I heard today's lesson is all about. So is this lesson all about me? All about Tim? <laughs> no, Tim. This lesson is all about your country, Korea, and mm. your native language, Korean. Oh. Uh... I guess I heard wrong. It's okay, Tim. As I mentioned earlier, today's lesson is all about Korean. Personally, I'm really excited about this lesson because as a Korean American, I want to know more about Korea and the language. How about you, Tim? All about Korean? Huh. Why are you so excited about this lesson? Well, first, Korean is a really unique language in a lot of ways. Mm, a really unique language? Yes, it has its unique independent writing system called Hangul. Hmm. As a native speaker, I don't know what's so unique about it. Can you tell us more about it? I guess it's difficult to see how it's unique if you're a native speaker. But did you know that the history of spoken Korean is approximately 2,000 years old? Wow, that's really old. I'm a native speaker, but I didn't even know that at all. All I know about Hangul is that it was invented by King Sejong, Sejong 대왕. That's right, and we'll learn more about it later. From what you've told me so far, I want to know more about Korean. Sorry that I complained earlier. That's okay, Tim. You might not appreciate your native language because you use it all the time. Hmm. It's very common. Well, let's not waste any more time and start learning more about Korea's rich history, language, and culture. Yes, let's begin. It's all about Korean. Debbie, do you know which language family Korean belongs to? Actually, I know this because I've been researching it. Hmm. Many believe that Korean came from the Altaic language group. Which means? The Korean language is related to Mongolian, Turkish, and Japanese languages. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. But you mentioned earlier that Korean is unique and different. Yes, and that's true. Even though Korean shares its origin in a language family, it has its own unique and independent writing system called Hangul. Hmm, can you tell us more about that? Sure. The oldest version of the Korean language that is similar to the current form is believed to be approximately 2,000 years old. Hmm. So this writing system was invented and made public in 1446 by King Sejong, hmm. the fourth king of the Joseon dynasty. And did you know, Hangul is now considered to be one of the most scientific writing systems in the world. That can express the widest range of sounds. Wow! Hangul is the most scientific writing system? Koreans must thank King Sejong for that. Haha! <laughs> That's right, Tim. Do you know how many people speak Korean? Mmm, I'm not sure. It must be millions. Yes, you're correct. The number is around 78 million speakers, wow. with most of them in Korea. But hmm. Apparently, the number has been steadily increasing worldwide. Mm. The population of Korean speakers outside Korea is continuing to grow every year. Yes, that's why we are here today. That's right. Okay, let's go a little deeper now. Debbie, have you heard about Gojoseon? Ah, the first kingdom in the Korean peninsula. Yes. Yes, I've heard about it, but I'm not sure when Gojoseon was established. Was it 2,500 years ago? 3,000 years ago? Over 4,000 years ago. Over 4,000 years ago? That's yes. incredible. <laughs> Isn't it? As for location, Korea is situated between China and Japan, which means it has a lot of ties with those countries. Right. However, Korea has developed its own unique culture in many ways. Such as? Well, Korean TV shows, movies, and music, and much more. Ah, that's true. The unique characteristics of Korean culture are reflected in many Korean TV shows and movies. Hmm. I love watching Korean TV shows. So do many of our listeners outside Korea. By the way, Tim, Korea has interacted with different cultures from China, Japan, and many more, right? Yes. Then Korea must be going through an economic boom, right? Yes, definitely. Since the 1960s, 
the Korean economy has grown by over 450 times. 450 times? Wow! Makes sense, though, since I've heard that Korea is well-known for having one of the fastest-growing economies in the world. That's right. Okay, Tim, what are we going to go over now? Hmm, the top five regions to study Korean. Sounds good. Why don't we start with number five for suspense? It'll be like a countdown. Okay, good idea. Here's region number five. Learning Korean can help you learn Japanese as well because the Japanese grammar is very similar to the Korean grammar. And what's more, it also helps when learning Chinese because some of the Korean words actually came from Chinese characters. Yes, wow. So learning Korean gives you insight into the world of both Japanese and Chinese too. How about number four? Korean is easy to read and write. You can literally master how to read and write Korean within days. Hmm. You'll be able to know a lot of written words just simply by knowing how to read Korean. Hunger. Yes, it's very easy. And it's also very beneficial for many English speakers because many Korean words existing today actually come from English. Yes. Okay, next, watch number three. Are you interested in Korean celebrities and Korean media, such as Korean TV shows, movies, and music? If you are, then learning Korean actually helps you enjoy watching and listening to them. Just imagine this. You will come to understand what your favorite actor or actress is talking about because you have studied Korean. Yes, I feel that way too when I watch my favorite movies in English. The same thing could happen to you after learning Korean. Great, how about number two? Well, a lot of Korean companies are expanding and operating overseas nowadays. Which means? Which means that many of our listeners can find career opportunities using their Korean language skills. Yes, this will be a great addition to your entire career. And finally, the number one reason you should learn Korean is... Korea is a great place to live, travel, and work. What a great number one region. Yes, as we mentioned earlier, there's a lot of economic growth in Korea, and it's still growing. After learning Korean, your experiences living, traveling, and working in Korea will be so much richer. Hmm. And not only that, but the listeners can enjoy the rich culture and language, the beautiful nature, the convenient facilities of the cities, and all the delicious as well as nutritious Korean dishes in Korea. Wow! And much, much more! That's right! Okay, everybody, are you ready to learn Korean? What are you waiting for? Get out your pen and notebook, grab your iPod, fire up your computer or whatever you use to study Korean. Yes! Okay, that's all for today's lesson. Thanks for listening. 여러분, 감사합니다. See you next time.